this review is about the Celestion AN2775 2 and 3 quarter inch full range compact array driver. I'm using this driver as a car audio full range slash mid range driver. And I say slash because it's it can do a lot more than just what a typical mid range can do. This will be the beginning of a series of videos where I'll be purchasing and testing small home audio drivers from Parts Express and Maddie Sound. This is the dash of my Mazda CX-5. I've already installed these drivers uh, in the front dash of my Mazda. This is the two and three quarter inch Celestion uh, compact array driver. Um, this adapter plate here is just a piece of vinyl flooring. It's actually a quarter of an inch thick and it worked out perfect for uh, this beta testing of this driver. Um, and then of course the tweeter you see there to the right of it is just a full cal tweeter. Um, again that's just there uh, temporarily uh, as I tune and, and try and figure out what the best uh, application is for these drivers. Uh, this driver is actually um, so good that I don't even really need a tweeter. I've had really good results with this. Um, it's very detailed, uh, very revealing. Uh, it has great mid-range. Um, it, it extends easily down to 500 hertz. Uh, I have it currently crossed over at uh, 800 hertz and up to 15,000 hertz. And that tweeter you see at the right is taking over from 15,000 hertz and up. This is the specifications chart or frequency response from the manufacturer for the Celestion uh, full range driver. And as you can see, it extends up to 10,000 hertz uh, and then you get the breakup nodes and uh, it keeps going up to 20,000 hertz. So with some EQ, uh, this driver is good till 20,000 hertz. Part of the series of the next uh, videos that I'm going to be doing, I'm also going to be testing this Foundtech FR58EX 2 inch new, new, new Dimium full range uh, speaker driver. Next on the list is the Tectonic Elements TEBM 46C20N. This is a 4 ohm driver. Uh, the previous two drivers I just showed you were 8 ohm. Uh, this one's got pretty good reviews. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I have high hopes for this. Um, I'll be doing a separate video for this one as well. Also in this series of videos, uh, I'll be, I have a pair of the Dayton Audio um, Air Motion Transformer Automotive Tweeters. And if I hadn't showed you before, this is the um, Foundtech driver. Pretty sweet little driver. Uh, and this is the Tectonic Elements. We'll be try, uh, testing that one as well. Okay, so what you're looking at is um, the Tune software for the JL Audio Tweak 88 um, and you can see the EQ that I've applied using Roo uh, in Auto-Tune. Um, the reason why they're all over the place like that is because we're in a car and when you're tuning in a car you're dealing with lots of reflections uh, so most of that is just for correcting reflections within the car. Um, so you can see a little closer, uh, there is my um, high pass and low pass filters. 
Okay. And then over to the right, the mid-range drivers are on the top. My um, SB Acoustics woofers in the doors are C and D. Um, and then the tweeters, as I mentioned before, 15,000 hertz and up, and the subwoofer at the bottom. So um, when you see the um, uh, the EQ uh, curves right here, where it says one and two, one and two is are the first top there. The A and B is one and two, and it goes down the line. One, two, C and D is three and four. Uh, e and F is five and six and so on. You can see I have those uh, separate um, drivers muted right now because we're going to do, we're about to do a test on the mid-range. So again, this is uh, what I found to be a good compromise and through hours of tuning, um, this is what I found that sounds the best with these drivers currently. Okay, here is uh, the Freeware program Roo. Uh, I have a mini DSP microphone that I bought um, that is calibrated to go along with this. I'm uh, using the default pink noise generator, uh, minus 20 dB. I don't uh, change that. Um, you know, you, as long as all the tests I do use the same parameters back to back, it's, it's all I care about. It's, it's, I'm, I'm comparing apples to apples in my tests um, and I leave that as the default setting. Um, in the RTA I'm using the 1 6th octave uh, averages of forever. Alright we're going to use the pink noise generator in my RTA. Here we go. This is just the full range Celestrian drivers in the front dash of my car only. All right, so what you're looking at here is the left Celestrian driver I'm using as a mid-range in a three-way active system. This is with no EQ. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, there are lots of reflections within a car, so most of what you see in that ragged curve is because of the reflections in the car. There is no low pass filter or high pass filter applied to this. Okay, so now what you see is the same driver um, after I applied uh, the equalization uh, in the tune software. So I use the auto tune. Uh, features from Rue. I'll do a separate video on that. Um, and then I put those um, into the uh, dig digital signal processor or tune software and it has corrected for the reflections in the car and some of the inconsistencies of the driver itself. And we have a relatively flat um, EQ curve. Okay, so this is the test um, that you saw me start in the previous uh, part of this video. This is both the left and the right full range drivers from Celestrian with the high pass filter uh, and low pass filter. Uh, it's high pass at 800 hertz, 24 dB like with Riley, and uh, low pass at um, 15,000 hertz. Uh, same 24 dB like with Riley. Okay, and this is all of my drivers playing at once. Uh, the Celestrian drivers for mid range or almost full range um, from 800 hertz to 15,000 hertz. Uh, the full Cal tweeters taken over after 15,000 hertz. Um, and the SB Acoustics six and a half inch woofers in the doors um, from 60 hertz to 800 hertz. Um, and there you have it. That's a pretty decent uh, 
flat curve uh, considering the car installation uh, and it sounds really good uh, I'm really happy with these drivers um, very very detailed um, I have some really nice tweeters in a two-way system with full cal woofers in my van and I had a tough time trying to beat the sound quality of that system with the detail uh, and this one I think has finally edged it out um, so that's just how good I feel about these uh, drivers and for under a hundred bucks for um, a dedicated mid-range where you know in the car audio world you're looking at you know mid-range drivers uh, such as audio frog uh, JL audio uh, you, you, you're gonna spend two three four five hundred dollars easily um, yeah those drivers will probably get louder um, but in my case and if this applies to you as well um, sound quality installation we're not looking at SPL numbers here uh, these things will get loud enough to make your ears bleed um, keeps up with my uh, 500 watt uh, 12 inch uh, subwoofer uh, and the door woofers no problem so um, I would say that these speakers are definitely what some of you guys refer to as budget gems. Um, definitely give these a thumbs up. Alright, I just wanted to say uh, something about the installation. Um, yeah, I know, putting it in the dash like this, firing up at the windshield, is not the best uh, place to put uh, a sound quality oriented driver. Uh, you're gonna deal with some comb filtering, a um, little bit more difficult to EQ, maybe. I've actually not had that experience. Um, I placed these on axis on their side, um, sort of quasi baffle I guess um, did some testing like that tuning just to see how what the difference was and to be honest with you there wasn't much difference so I said I'd rather just put them in my dash put the grill over them not have to deal with fiberglass and pods at this point in time anyway uh, that'll be later on down the road one step at a time here um, but you know as far as uh, this dash installation uh, like I said before these things are just fantastic all right so one thing I want to say is uh, YouTube is making some changes um, making it more difficult uh, for small channels like ours to um, be successful um, we really need uh, people to subscribe to our channel uh, so please uh, subscribe uh, if you want to see more of these videos um, to help us purchase these products and continue to do this um, really would appreciate it thank you